Bottoms Up was written by country artist Brantley Gilbert along with co-writer Justin Weaver. We'll use key of G chords with no capo and no alternate tunings to get through the whole song. There's only one chord progression, but we'll learn a couple of different strum patterns and picking patterns on the acoustic guitar. The lead guitar is pretty straightforward, but there's a nice little guitar solo that we'll learn. This whole song goes from E minor to C or C2 to D. And that's the chord progression through the whole thing. And we have four different sections to learn in terms of picking and strumming. The first one is the introduction to the first and the second verse. Then we'll learn the verse picking progression, then the chorus strumming, and then the bridge strumming. So let's start with the introduction that comes before verse one and verse two. So we're gonna start by doing this backwards rake on an E minor seven. So to get our fingers in the right spots, open E string, 2nd fret, 2nd fret, open G string, 3rd fret of B, 3rd fret of high. Then that repeats. Alright, so we'll start here with our middle finger on the 2nd fret of the D string. Then we have open G and open B string. And the picking looks like this. Down, down, up, up, down. And then the second figure, we're gonna do an open D string, hammer onto that second fret. Down, Three. go. Alright, we'll learn the verse and the chorus in this tutorial, and then we'll learn the solo in the next tutorial. So let's start with the verse. The verse uses a picking progression that sounds like this. I don't have the effect on during this tutorial, just so that uh, it's a little bit more clear when we're trying to learn it. But he does use a cool effect during the verse, during that verse picking pattern. There's a couple of different ways to dial up a tone that's similar to that. It sounds to me like he's using a pedal called a flanger. Um, and then just has a little bit of gain and maybe a little bit of reverb and delay on there as well. Uh, so we're going to start with this open E string and then pointer Come finger on goes on. So I'll play through the solo one time, a little bit slower than the record, but in tempo. And then we'll go through it note by note and then we'll play it at full speed along with the metronome. Here's how it sounds. One, two. 